A pallet village for the homeless in Milford taking form. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with proposed locations for tiny homes. Milford City Council is exploring options for where this village could be. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reiner shows us where some of those locations are. This spot of land could soon be home to dozens of tiny houses for the homeless. The city of Milford discussed potential locations for a proposed pallet village, a group of tiny homes that serve as transitional housing for the homeless. Martha Gary with the Milford Advocacy for the Homeless says the city needs this addition. And when you're talking about approximately 25 people for every 10,000 people uh, that are sleeping without any coverage at all at night, uh, that's, that's a lot of people. Uh, that we're talking about. There were three proposed locations discussed so far. Behind the new Milford Police Station, currently under construction, on the land of the current police station, once the new one is complete, and off of Milford Harrington Highway, towards the outside of town. We reached out to the city of Milford today for an interview on these proposed locations, and it declined the opportunity. The village would be operated by an outside organization, not the city of Milford. Brady Worthy thinks it could be a good addition to the city. It's all right with me. I don't have no problem with it. People are looking for a, for a place to live. That's really why I, I don't have no problem with it. The council did discuss the need to get public opinion on these tiny houses before any ground is broken. These proposed locations are still just that, proposals. The city still needs to go through a long public hearing process before anything can be finalized. I'm Charles Reiner in Milford, Coast TV News.